Hello, it's Erica, and today is day 11 of Black History Month series writing. I'm going to talk about Lolita Tatamy's 2001 book, Cane River, and the ways I believe this thrilling read can be brought to screen. Using a combination of fact and fiction, Lolita Tatamy tells the story of her family. This well-written family saga follows three generations of her female ancestors, Elizabeth, Suzette, Philomene, and Emily all of who were born into slavery and were courageous and different in their own ways. We follow these amazing women from the 1830s to the 1930s. I appreciate Tatami's complete honesty regarding the fact that Cane River is not nonfiction, but instead a fiction book strongly inspired by her family that came before her. The story of Tatami's family makes for an interesting read. I really enjoy family sagas and Cane River was no different. We get the amazing opportunity to read a family's trajectory from one century to the next, and I really enjoyed that. If Cane River were to be adapted, I think the best format would be a miniseries split into three sections following the pattern of the book. The book is split into three sections, and they're named after Suzette, Philomene, and Emily. A miniseries would allow more of the story to be included as opposed to a film. If it were to be a film, we would have to cut out a lot of their story, but a three-episode miniseries would be just right. A three-episode miniseries following the courageous Elizabeth, Suzette, Philomene, and Emily is definitely something that I'd be interested in watching. In addition to that, I would also love to see Lolita Tatami's discovery of her family story brought to life. I enjoyed reading the author's note, her acknowledgments, and the section at the very end of the book called The Inevitable Telling of Cane River. Um, They give the reader insight into why and how Lolita began began and conducted her family search. So she used to be the vice president of a Fortune 500 company, but there kept on being something nagging at her, something deep in her heart and mind that would not let her go, um, would not let her forget her family. She wanted to search for them, and so she began her search. A film that brings this passionate search and discovery to life would be entertaining. So many African Americans are into genealogy. I too am into into genealogy and I spend a lot of time looking up records and whenever I find something that's interesting, I love to show my family and I know I'm not alone in this. So this search that we enjoy, this search for our ancestors, um, Many of us hope to one day have a similar big breakthrough as Tatami did when she found the bill of sale for her four times great grandmother Elizabeth. It takes a lot of work and determination to engage in such a search for your family, especially if they were enslaved and there were not there are not as many records of their time on earth. So capturing Tatami's determination would make for a great feel good film. Um, it's kind of an un- underdog story and everyone would be rooting for her to find her family because people, it's a universal story. People of all walks of life have a family. And so a search about trying to find those people would be amazing. Someone should write it.